can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this figure, these two segments right over here must be equal, and the angle on the top must be equal to 20 degrees, angle on the bottom part must be equal to 80 degrees, then the question or our goal is to solve for this angle using only elementary geometry. Now you can pause this video if you want to give this problem a try. And now, let's answer this question together. Alright, so our goal here is to solve for the value of this angle using only elementary geometry or simply just basic construction or we can use some basic construction and we are not allowed to use trigonometry. Alright, so to answer this question, of course, is to let this vertex be equal to A this vertex be equal to B, and this third vertex be equal to C. Now, this vertex right over here is very important also, and let's call this as D. Now, let's have the given on this figure. Now, first, we know that angle A must be equal to 20 degrees. All right. And then, angle C must be equal to 80 degrees. That is also given. Now, take note, the sum of the angles inside of a triangle must be adds up to 180 degrees. Therefore, we can say that angle B must be equal to 80 degrees. Now, since two angles are the same, we can say that this triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. And since it is an isosceles triangle, two sides must be equal. So we can say that side AB must be equal to side AC. And also, under given is AD must be equal to BC. Now, to answer this question or to find the, this angle, using only simple construction. So what we're going to do here is to construct an equilateral triangle using side AB like this. So this point over here, let's call this as E. Now this triangle AEB must be an equilateral triangle so all of this side must be congruent. Now here's some new information in this figure. First. We know AEB is an equilateral triangle or equilateral triangle is also an equiangular triangle. So all of this angle must be equal. Alright. So now, this angle right over here, angle E, we can say this is just 60 degrees. And this angle BAC is also 60 degrees since we have here 20 degrees. So the other angle, this angle right over here, EA. C must be equal to 40 degrees. Now, we know also that side AB must be equal to side AC. Now, why is this important? Because we will connect this vertex C to this vertex E like this. And now, take note, AC must be equal to AE. Therefore, we can say that triangle CAE must be an isosceles triangle because two sides are equal and also we know the vertex angle must be equal to 40 degrees therefore we can say that the base angle of this isosceles triangle must be equal to 70 degrees because 70 degrees plus 70 degrees plus 40 degrees this will adds up to 180 degrees now we know this angle AEC this is 70 degrees. We have here 60 degrees. So this small angle right over here must be equal to 10 degrees. Alright. Now let's focus on this triangle BEC. Now, again, the angle inside of each, any triangle must be adds up to 180 degrees. We have here 10 degrees. We have here 80 plus 70 or 150 degrees. The total is 160. Therefore, this angle right over here must be equal to 20 degrees. Alright. Now, from here, we can see two congruent triangles. So, triangle BEC must be congruent to triangle ABD. Now, why are these two triangles are congruent? Now, here's the first reason. First, BC, this BC must be equal to AD. Alright. Next, 
we know AC must be equal to AB. Alright? And we can now say that BE, this BE, side BE, must be equal to side AB. And also, we can say that angle BAD, where's angle BAD? Here's B. A, D, here's angle B, A, D, which is 20 degrees, and it is equal to angle E, B, C, we have E, B, C, which is also 20 degrees. So, using S, A, S postulate, or side angle side postulate, we can say that triangle B, E, C must be congruent to triangle A, B, D. Now, using C, P, C, T, C, or congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent, Therefore, we can say that this angle B, C, E, or this angle right over here, must be equal to angle A, D, B, which is this angle right over here. Now, angle B, C, E, this is 80 plus 70, which is equal to 150 degrees. Therefore, this angle right over here, A, D, B, must be equal to 150 degrees also. Now, we have a straight angle. And these two angle adds up to 180 degrees. So we have here 150. So the other angle must be 30 degrees. And that is the answer to this question. Therefore, using only elementary geometry, we can solve that the measure of this angle right over here must be equal to 30 degrees. And as always, we are done.